how to change the PL mount to an EF mount on the Ursa Mini Pro 12K. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change mounts on the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro. We are going to go from the Ursa 12K's factory installed PL mount to an EF mount. You will need the following items to perform this operation. The Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro EF mount, which comes with the EF mount, an EF mount cap, screws, you'll need four but it comes with extras which is great, a bunch of shims which I did not use, and a baffle tool. In addition, you'll also need a torque screwdriver able to provide 0.45 newton meters of torque and a 2 millimeter hex bit. Blackmagic even warns you on the outside of the EF mount's case that you'll need a torque screwdriver to make sure that you don't under or over tighten the screws. Trust me, you don't want to risk damaging your camera. I'll leave links to all of these items in the description below this video if you want to check them out. First, remove the PL mount cap by turning the PL mount counterclockwise with your fingers. It should easily come out after the mount has been unlocked. Next, we will add our bit to our Torx screwdriver. It simply pops into place and locks. To remove the bit, simply pull the piece right below the bit away from the handle of the screwdriver and the bit will become free. Next, let's remove the PL mount. Here's a shot of the PL mount after it has been removed from the camera. You'll notice there are five screws. To access all of the screws, you will need to rotate the PL mount at some point like this. As you remove the PL mount, if you pull off a shim or two by accident, just carefully place it back onto the camera. I left all of the shims that were under the PL mount on the camera. Next, use the baffle tool to remove the baffle from the camera. You'll use the wide PL side of the tool. The baffle tool fits in the two small grooves. And then you turn it counterclockwise until it becomes free and you can carefully pull it out. Store your PL mount, screws, and baffle in a safe place in case you ever want to use the PL mount again. Next, we will need the EF mount and four EF mount screws. Place the EF mount into the camera as shown. It only goes in one way. The shape is pretty obvious. Before we go on to the next step, let me show you how to use the Torx screwdriver that I purchased, because it was a little tricky at first. This particular Torx screwdriver goes from 0.3 to 1.2 newton meters of torque. We need it set to 0.45. When I first purchased it, it was set to 0.3. To adjust the amount of torque, you'll need the little white arrow facing you. The little white arrow points to the torque settings that the screwdriver is currently set at. Simply pull down the black part of the screwdriver with your fingers on one hand, while rotating the green part of the screwdriver handle with your other hand as shown. You'll watch the torque numbers change as you turn the screwdriver's handle. Stop when you get to the 0.45 setting. It looks like this. Then of course, make sure your bit is placed on the screwdriver if it is not already on. Then insert one of the screws on the EF mount using the Torx screwdriver, but don't tighten it all the way just yet. Add the next screw diagonally across from the first screw and screw it in. But just like the first one, don't tighten it all the way. Do the same for the last two screws. Then adjust all of the screws, carefully alternating them until you achieve around the same amount of tightness. Then do one final round to completely tighten each one in place. Because you are using a torque screwdriver that is properly set to the required amount of torque, it's impossible to under or over tighten the screws. You'll hear the torque screwdriver click, and it won't tighten anymore once it hits the right amount of torque. That's it, your EF mount is ready to be used. Let's test it out. I'll place my trusty old Sigma 18 to 35 mm zoom lens on it and record some test shots. You should be able to achieve focus from minimal focus distance all the way to infinity.
Well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.